Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. We're on the beautiful Celebrity Infinity on our 10 night cruise around Greece and Turkey. Now we know you love a ship tour. So for popular demand, here is decks three, four and five on this wonderful Celebrity ship. Enjoy. Good morning cruise fans and here we are now on the beautiful Celebrity Infinity and we're at sea today and uh, due to popular demand I thought I would do a nice ship tour for you so uh, it's early in the morning and I'm going to take you around the beautiful Celebrity Infinity and do a bit of a tour for you today so this morning so here we are now on deck number two deck number two in the main centrum and uh, as you can see a lovely expanded staircase uh, with views all the way up to deck number four um, and we'll show you those other decks in a little while but I just thought I would share with you now the information and various facilities on deck number two so the first thing you'll come to on deck number two is this uh, customer services guest relations desk this is manned 24 hours a day but of course it's on demand so uh, nobody there at the moment because it is early in the morning. Um, what you'll also find is a shore excursions desk um, and you'll also find uh, little sub desks where they're able to provide uh, help and information regarding things like Wi-Fi etc. Of course there are state rooms on this floor as well so you'll see down the corridor there that there are some uh, uh, state rooms. Um, there's a concierge desk, so if you have any issues, any problems, you can come along and have uh, conversations with the concierge. Um, if uh, you need some arrangements in terms of bookings, etc., then they'll be able to help you out with that. And as we go back across uh, the guest relations desk, we'll also find some little sub desks where really you can have more private conversations regarding any issues that you might have. So then as we uh, move on, uh, also in the Centrum itself, of course, um, some nice seating. Um, it's obviously a lovely staircase that takes you all the way up to uh, the, the, the floor on deck three. Um, there is a cash machine here, so if you want to draw some cash from a card that you have, then you can easily do that using the cash machine. And then a little bit further on, we have the excursions area. So in here, uh, of course, you can come down here and book your excursions. Uh, lovely seating areas on both sides. Whilst you wait, if there is a, a bit of a queue, you can have yourself a seat. But then also the desk itself, and then what you'll also find is a number of pieces of information, typically in these racks, that will give you information about various excursions um, for the relevant ports um, that you're going to be visiting. Generally some information usually on the sides, on the screens here, um, showing some uh, nice pictures and marketing of of various ports that you might go into. And there'll also be versions of uh, excursions uh, pamphlets that will be in multiple different languages. So they're really, really good. So if you want to do yourself a sure excursion, come down here to the excursions desk on deck two and uh, the ladies and gentlemen behind there will be able to help you out. So, that sure excursion. And as we move away from the desks themselves, you'll find here over on the port side, uh, obviously all the lift areas. So lifts, of course, will take you to the various floors uh, on board the ship. Um, they're quite good. You do get a bit of a visual uh, treat as you go up the individual lifts um, because they're on the side of the ship typically and uh, you get to look out the window while you're going up in the lift. And again, there's some, some comfortable seating if you just want to find yourself an area 
uh, you know, to sit down and uh, uh, have conversations, etc. So that's behind the lift on on deck two. So that is the lower floor centrum on deck two on the lovely Celebrity Infinity. Stay okay, tuned. So as we uh, move on, uh, also on deck two, uh, just by the stairwell, is the entrance to the Tuscan Grill. Um, there's not a lot of light there at the moment, so um, I'm not really able to share too much with you, but we will show Tuscan Grill on one of the other uh, videos. But just to let you know that there are uh, restaurants also on deck two that you can uh, frequent. Uh, there are also a few little side desks here uh, from time to time, if there are Wi-Fi issues and things like that, they will man these desks and help you with so that. They'll help you with uh, any issues you may have. Also on deck three here, in addition to staterooms, there are some conferencing uh, facilities. You can get into the conference centre and there are three conference rooms down there on the right hand side and at the end. Uh, should you have the need for some form of get together or some meeting. Okay, so that's the uh, centrum on deck three. I uh, hope that's been useful for you. And now I'm going to run the gauntlet and go up these wonderful stairs and go up to deck number four where we can show you more facilities that are on the lovely Celebrity Infinity. Okay, so when we get on to deck number four then, quite an expansive open area as you can see. On the right hand side here is the Martini Bar, a really, really nice sort of chic, sort of nicely designed area. In the evenings, uh, it opens up and you, uh, you can get yourself a nice martini, uh, turns into a little bit of a vodka bar as well. Um, and it's a nice place to meet and mingle and socialise before going into dinner. Uh, further on, of course, there's uh, nice seating around uh, the area over here on the left now. And of course, the lifts, which I shared with you on deck three, actually come up on the side of the ship in the centre, at least. And nice. A seating for you, somewhere to come and relax um, when you'd like to. Um, what you also can see here on deck four is Fortune's Casino. Oh no, so we go into Fortune's Casino. Now, of course, it's closed, and typically the cruise lines don't necessarily like you going in and filming the casino, but we will take a quick walk through, really just to give you a flavour for the sorts of things that you have in here. Of course you have slot machines um, and there is a bar in the center of the casino itself. Of course all of this is shut down at the moment. Um, they, they do have some widescreen TVs at the bar and you can get yourself a drink in the casino while watching your favorite sport on the TV. And then of course the pretty bog standard uh, card tables that you'll find you know so you'll find tables for for craps and for blackjack and from poker and of course roulette tables etc and of course a uh, a variety of different uh, slot machines and of course all of this is operated via cards so you can draw some money off your card you can uh, spend cash at the tables, of course, um, and anything that you win, of course, you can uh, get uh, exchanged from the exchange desk there before you leave the casino after your time here. So that's a very, very quick look at the casino on deck four. Fortune's Casino on deck four, and this is the other door that you can exit that will take us back to the uh, Martini Bar and into the Grand Foyer. Just 
another view of the Grand Foyer from the exit from Fortune's Casino. Okay, so if we come outside of Fortune's Casino, uh, on the other end of the casino, there is the photographic area. Um, no doubt, if you've cruised before, you're used to these sorts of areas. You can come down here, you can get yourself some uh, your favorite photographs that may have been taken of you whilst you've been on board. They also utilize this, of course, as uh, the uh, art display area as well. So hence why you can see those uh, uh, stands. And in this area here, it's the eye lounge. So you can come down here and if you've got any issues associated with uh, some photographs that you might have had taken or if you want to buy yourself an album or if you've got a photo package then you can come and talk to the people here and they'll be able to help out but also from time to time they can also help you out with any wi-fi and connectivity uh, and internet uh, connection issues that also help you here at the eye lounge uh, as well so that's the photographic area on deck four. Okay, so while we're in here uh, on deck four we can also see uh, Michael's Club now Michael's Club is a suite area uh, reserved for suite guests but we will it is early so we should be able to get in and have a quick look around Michael's Club for you just so you are aware of what's available if you are a sweet guest. Okay, so let's go into Michael's Club. And uh, what you'll find here in Michael's Club now, it's a, a nice private area, always a concierge desk here on the left-hand side with general information available uh, for sweet guests. And of course, nice comfortable seating um, all around. And then as we go a little bit further into the area itself, you can see here on this left hand side again there are some more upright chairs and there is a bar area where you can get yourself a coffee you can help yourself to a drink of course sweet guests have a variety of different amenities made available to them um, and you can take advantage of that and you can always get yourself a coffee in the lounge and this will typically be uh, manned at various times during the day um, and then for the rest of the lounge you can see ni again nice comfortable seating and then certainly early for breakfast they will lay on a uh, continental breakfast and they will lay that out here uh, so you can come down here you can get yourself uh, something to eat have a little uh, pick at a few uh, breakfast items if that's uh, what you'd prefer rather than going to the restaurant or a buffet um, and then at various times during the day they will also make this available for things like afternoon tea and then sort of nibbles in the evening between five and seven so that's Michael's Club the sweet only guest uh, facility here on deck four. Okay, so as we go a little bit further through, uh, another uh, sort of photo gallery area, again more specifically here regarding photographic packages etc. You can come down here also and purchase uh, various items if you've got a bit of technology that you need to replace or you need to purchase something perhaps that you've forgotten to bring with you on your cruise then uh, you will be able to get some stuff here. You can buy cameras, point and click, single use cameras, etc., memory cards, cables, and the like. So, uh, very, very useful uh, if you're stuck without uh, a little piece of equipment or a memory card or a battery, you can get them down here. So, that's the photo gallery on the case. Okay, so, as we go through the back of the photo gallery, there is a studio where you can get personalized photographic uh, support and if you want to get yourself some professionally taken photographs of family etc you can come down and do that here and then that very 
conveniently brings us out towards the uh, front end of the ship. Um, again, you'll be able to see here on my left hand side now uh, the lifts which go of course all the way up to deck 12 um, and also access, uh, access to outside. So here we're on deck 4 so you can uh, access outside onto the uh, uh, onto the promenade out, outside so we'll show you okay, that so the sun's come up now and uh, we can just about show you just about got enough light to be able to share with you the little promenade walk out here on deck four and you can walk all the way around the entirety of the ship on deck four um, come out in here and have uh, a lounge if you wish um, on one side of the ship you, it's also a smoking area and uh, that's on the port side not here on starboard but uh, uh, the, the view that you'll get around sunrise on Celebrity Infinity is what you can see now so when we come out on photographic we then can take a look at the Celebrity Theatre which is uh, at the front of the ship and it's on deck four and on deck five and let's go in and have a little look right now look at the theater itself now that here we're on deck four and uh, there's not too much light in here at the moment so um, you'll have to sort of bear with us in terms of um, getting you something suitably lit to share with you but of course lovely seating uh, right across the theatre itself and of course the, the, uh, the, the area where we have the shows is down there, it's a bit dark down there so you won't get too much light and there's not that much to see there at the moment but this is deck four and then of course you can also access the theatre on deck five so there is a door upstairs and a bar and then you can also get there using these stairs so that's quite good and it is um, very accessible of course and there are specific areas made available for uh, individual cruisers that might be in uh, wheelchairs etc um, so that's uh, the theatre on deck four and likewise on deck five of course a slightly higher view of course you would in the upper circle if you will um, onto the stage and nice seating around the, uh, the entirety of the theatre itself and of course the uh, theatre production control office as well. So that's the theatre on deck okay, five. So we're on deck five now and I've just shown you the celebrity theatre. So we'll go around now into the Emporium. The Emporium is that area set aside on the ship for retail shopping so let's go in now and have a little look to see what we can find in the emporium okay so we'll take a little walk through here now and uh, lots of seating around for people as they're milling in and around the shops themselves and as you would expect to see lots of display cabinets sharing various products and items now one of the first uh, shops we'll come to is like an apparel shop um, that's where you can pick up various pieces of uh, apparel various uh, garment shirts and various items of clothing and some of this stuff is non-branded so um, you can get yourself of course the celebrity branded goods in one of the other stores that I will show you um, but this is a store where where it's not the branded goods but yet you can still get yourself a variety of different items now of course it's closed at the moment so I can't go in and show you but ultimately you can see for yourself on the shot now what sorts of items that you may be able to purchase as we come away from the apparel shop of course more display cabinets and what you'll also see initially in the middle of the uh, 
uh, room here are a number of different display areas. And of course, if they have any sales or any or some specific products that they want to market, then they'll do that in the evenings on a regular basis. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see the uh, jeweler shop. Uh, and of course, within here, you can see a whole bunch of very, very nice uh, jewelry, watches, etc., etc. And some of the display cabinets, of course, uh, will share some of those items for you. Uh, Fabergé even so that's quite nice so when that's open go in there and uh, get a loved one a nice piece of jewelry uh, again there's some more display cabinets in and around the area and then a far area of the jewelry store itself there is of course watches all of the classic famous brands that you can get on the high street you can also get here on your cruise so that's the jewelry so as we uh, go still further on there are some specific uh, brands that are also partnering with the cruise line and here this is the Kate Spade uh, Kate Spade uh, store for um, purses and handbags for the ladies etc and as we go a little bit further up again you'll see some of the display cabinets now start to change and there are some perfume and skincare products and things that are in there and here we have a shop for that very purpose so yeah so you can pick up all of your skincare and your day wear and your uh, perfume needs in this store as well and then as we go a little bit further, again, still, still more display cabinets sharing your favorite okay, brand. So as we move on from there, we'll get into another little area where you can pick up, uh, again, a variety of other items, um, uh, faux jewelry and bags and necklaces, etc., etc. in this store here. Uh, there's another uh, display area and as we move further on now we can see the future cruise desk which is always very useful the explorations desk if you will um, if you're enjoying your cruise you might well decide to come and think about uh, another cruise and if you want to do that you can do that here. so the team here in the uh, future cruise area will be able to give you uh, lots and lots of really useful information in terms of what might be available any sales that they're having any uh, any incentives and um, there are a number of desks here you can come up you can book yourself an appointment and they'll see you and of course help you pick and select your next cruise adventure with Celebrity Cruises. Okay, so just adjacent to that then is the branded goods store for Celebrity. So you can see in here, uh, obviously t-shirts and caps and various items, cups and uh, fridge magnets and things like that, that you can purchase with the Celebrity brand on them. Uh, again, if that's something that you like to do, then this is where you come to get those okay, items. So as we go a little bit further now then, there's a specific Effie store where you can get some specialist jewelry from the Effie brand. And then there are the offices for the art company on board. So here you can go in and have a conversation about some art that you think that you might like to pick up. And of course you'll find general information about art auctions and various things that are going on during the cruise. So that's the art auction area on deck five. Okay, so as we exit the Emporium then, uh, we can get into another general area. Um, here there is like an ice cream parlor. So from time to time during the day, you can come here and pick yourself up a very nice ice cream and uh, lots of tasty flavors. And I've tried some and it's very, very good. And there are some general seating areas, again, by the lift shafts. Um, 
so you can uh, sit and socialize and uh, meet and greet people uh, that are here so this is deck five so lots and lots of nice comfortable seating uh, available and then on this right hand side then we can see Il Baccio which is the onboard coffee shop for so Il Baccio. Il Baccio is here, um, opens early in the morning and stays open late at night for all of your coffee needs and typically you will get some excellent service from the uh, members of staff that are here in the coffee shop and, and you will also see that at a variety of different times they will have a variety of nice goodies that are available for you to select to go with your coffee. Morning guys, how are you? And uh, so, nice seating area and from time to time you'll get a pianist. You can take coffee away of course and there's all of the uh, accessories that will go with that. And the nice uh, open area where you can sit and enjoy your beverage and a little snack that you might have purchased. And of course there are free snacks available at the coffee bar as well. And I can heartily recommend the lemon citrus tart. So that's deck five, Centrum on Celebrity Infinity. That's the ice cream parlor, the lift area, the shopping area and Il Baccio coffee. Okay, so moving on now, here we are now in Cellar Masters. So this is a nice little wine bar that's uh, between the main dining rooms and the centrum itself. And as we go in here, we can see again some nice comfortable seating. It's also an area for uh, small entertainment. There is a little bit of a dance floor and I'll share that with you in a moment. But Cellar Masters is here. It's a, a wine bar type uh, feel. And you can come down here and get a glass of wine that perhaps may not be available uh, in every bar on the ship, but they do work hard and try their very best to get you a nice variety of different wines in Cellar Masters. Um, there's of course a bar on this far end and then in a little while we'll share with you the main dining room, the trellis dining room, but here in Cellar Masters I just thought I would share with you the nice seating and the sort of ambience that you get here and it's very nice during the day and also in the evening. So that's Cellar Masters deck. So if we continue now on the other side of the Cellar Masters area is Sushi on Five. So Sushi on Five, one of the specialist restaurants, it's an upcharge, so you will be charged for coming to dine on Sushi on Five. And of course, uh, get yourself some fantastic sushi. Um, I'll, I'll share the uh, QR code for the menu in a little while, but this is a lovely layout, typical Sort of Japanese start type of feel to it um, but that said it's not uh, a dark enclosed it's a quite quite a light and quite an airy uh, restaurant for you to come down and get your sushi and sashimi and a uh, variety of items that you might wish to enjoy so that's sushi on five I'd like to look at the menu here's the sushi on five menu Okay, so that's uh, Cellar Masters and Sushi on Five and the bar area here in the middle of the ship on Deck Five. Okay, so we hope that's been useful for you now. So that was Decks Three, Four and Five on the beautiful Celebrity Infinity. We shared with you downstairs on Deck Three, the customer services area, insure excursions. 
On deck four, we shared with you the Martini Bar and Fortunes Casino, and also some of the photographic and some of the technical areas uh, midship, and also we shared with you the theatre uh, on deck four and on deck five. On deck five, in the centrum, we shared with you the coffee bar and the shops uh, and the retail area. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this first part of the ship tour on the beautiful Celebrity Infinity, which covered decks three, four, and five. We hope that's been useful. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next ship tour video, which will cover the upper decks, the pool decks, and the buffet restaurant on deck 10.